there's too much of one chemical, uric acid. The power of healing rests inside our body and health care is not something that we need to rely on when we go to the doctor's office, right? Every year you go once. Healthcare is everything in between that we do for ourselves and food is a medicine that we take. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Dr. William Lee champions a dietary approach to managing health conditions, including gout linked to high uric acid. While some fruits break down into fructose, which can potentially raise uric acid levels, Dr. Lee prioritizes fruits with overall health benefits that outweigh any potential drawbacks. He's a leader in the field of food as medicine, focusing on how dietary choices can prevent and even reverse chronic diseases. Here's why his opinion on gout management matters. First, Dr. Lee has extensive experience in internal medicine, published over 100 scientific papers, and served on the faculties of Harvard and Dartmouth medical schools. Second, he's a pioneer in using food to activate the body's natural healing mechanisms. Thirdly, Dr. Lee's work is grounded in scientific research and clinical evidence. These factors establish him as a credible source for information on managing gout through dietary changes. Dr. Lee likely emphasizes portion control when it comes to fruits, even those with potential benefits for uric acid. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Here are some fruits he might recommend for gout management. 1. Cherries Research suggests cherries, especially tart cherries, may offer benefits for gout sufferers. They contain anthocyanins, pigments with anti-inflammatory properties that might help reduce gout flare-ups. Dr. Lee will now talk about a family of fruit which cherries are a member. So, so another thing that I personally love, and again, you know, this is my informed opinion. I like this category of food called stone fruit, right? And those are very seasonal and uh, they grow in trees and they have a little stone in the middle, like an apricot, um, but it turns out the flesh uh, and the color of, the, of these are very bright um, and they're, they actually have a lot of sweetness to them, rich with polyphenols and the skin of these fruits also contains something called ursolic acid. Our blood flow naturally kind of slows down, doesn't get as, isn't as good as it should be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like an old set of piping, a uh, plumbing. So you want to keep the plumbing working really, really well. That's our, our circulation. So ursolic acid helps us keep good blood flow, yeah. helps us regenerate our blood vessels when we need to. Critical for brain health. So gut health and brain health, it's not just simply the gut brain access through the microbiome. The circulation is also really important. I love that. Next fruit. 2. Citrus fruits with moderation. While high fructose fruits can be problematic, Dr. Lee might recommend moderate portions of citrus fruits like grapefruits and oranges. Vitamin C in these fruits may help the body excrete uric acid through urine. Dr. Lee will now talk about a couple of citrus fruits. Hey Dr. Will Lee here. I want to show you something that's just over my shoulder. Look at this pink grapefruit. Now you want some of grapefruit? It is limiting. Limiting has been shown to activate your brown fat using thermogenesis to help you burn down harmful white fat. I love them. Next fruit. Dr. Will Lee here. I am actually in a fruit section of a grocery store and I'm in front of the orange section. I love oranges. They are juicy, delicious. This is actually a Cara Cara orange, one of the sweetest, juiciest oranges. And I, and I love the, uh, I love them. Um, but here's my argument for eating a whole orange as opposed to downing a glass of orange juice. One orange has got dietary fiber, it's got hesperidin, neurogenin. These are bioactives that activate your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. But you know what? You can sit down and eat one of these and you'll be very, very satisfied. And you'd have better gut health too because of the dietary fiber. You know, all the fiber that's in the slice of orange. But if you had to slug down a glass of orange juice, you know how many of these it would take? It would take eight of these oranges in order to be able to make one glass of orange juice. I love them. And now berries. Three, berries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Dr. Lee often highlights berries for their high antioxidant content. Antioxidants can help combat inflammation, 
potentially reducing the severity of gout attacks. All right, and berries. The amazing thing about berries, they are kind of the candy of nature, mm. right? They're small, they're beautiful, mm. they're sweet. Mm. Um, you can eat a bunch of them. Uh, I, and that's why candies, I just, there are, can, there are candies that are shaped like berries, right? So the, the, the thing about berries though, is that they are a great source of vitamin C. They've got great antioxidants. They also have these polyphenols that are kick ass. So like, and dietary fiber as well, of course. Uh, the, the key thing is, you know, this is where all, not all calories are the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, fruit contains so many other good things that along with the natural sugars, which are most for most people, your body can actually tackle. You're getting all this other benefits uh, that, that you wouldn't be getting if you had a can of soda with just added sugar to it, right? So that's the key thing. Sugar isn't all sugar because the, the thing that is contained in is going to be different. I love them. The next fruit is a marvel of vitamin C. Four, kiwis. These little green powerhouses are packed with vitamin C, another potential ally in the fight against uric acid. Plus, kiwis offer a good dose of fiber, which can help with overall gut health and potentially contribute to better uric acid management. And it's been shown that eating just one kiwi a day can actually cause your blood to be fortified to neutralize about 60% of the incoming damage from DNA. A kiwi you might eat at breakfast. You know that brown fuzzy ball, you cut it open, it's got this emerald green uh, interior with a little white starburst. You know, it's kind of tart and sweet at the same time. Well, that kiwi is packed with vitamins and antioxidants. And if you eat three kiwis a day, it will help your DNA build itself back up so so that damaged DNA will be repaired. I love them. <laughs> the next fruit is apples. Five, apples with moderation. Dr. Lee recommends apples for their fiber content. Fiber can be beneficial for managing weight and overall health, which can indirectly help with gout management. Dr. Lee adds the following about apples. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm in the produce section again, and I'm in front of a whole bunch of apples and pears. Look, I love apples. You've heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. Now, what's in an apple that's good for you? Chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid lights up your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you gotta wash it really well anyway, but if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin. That's what that does that protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. One more apple fact, apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidins. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat. Again, good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. What's not to like about this? Go for an apple a day. I love that. Now the last of our six fruits for combating gout. Six, pears. Pears are also a great source of dietary fiber, particularly non-soluble polysaccharide NSP, which acts as a binding agent with fatty acids, promoting faster elimination of waste and preventing the buildup of uric acid. Now, let's listen to Dr. Lee talk more about pears. The six grams of dietary fiber, which are present in an average size pear, has been shown by MD Anderson research to improve your gut microbiome and actually make the difference of whether you're gonna survive melanoma, getting an immunotherapy or not, or the bacteria acromantia, which can be grown by drinking pomegranate juice or con conquer grape juice or cranberry juice that seems to be present in every patient who's a positive responder. They benefit, they, the tumor is wiped out by your immune system in people who get checkpoint inhibitors for their cancer because we don't know who responds and who doesn't respond. We're beginning to find out that what you eat and how it happens to change the ecosystem of your diet, of your, of your gut bacteria, looks like you can actually make a big difference and that big difference could be life and death. I love them. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.